21 civil society organizations have bagged outspoken Auditor General Daniel Domelevo amid a controversial investigation by the Economic and Organized Crime Office. The Ghana Integrity Initiative and other CSOs in a statement urged the Auditor General Daniel Domelevo on Arden. Uh, Arden, they hope that recent turn of events will not deter him from continuing with his work to protect the public purse. The statement follows uh, an ongoing feud between the IOCO and the Auditor General over alleged procurement breaches. Domelovo has since dragged the IOCO to court, questioning its mandate to investigate his office. We've been joined uh, on the phone lines by the co-chair for the Citizens Movement Against Corruption, uh, Adam Senanu. Uh, thank you, Mr. Senanu, for your time. Uh, I know you've been following this issue quite strongly. Your statement seems to suggest that the outcome of the suit by the Auditor General is anything um, apart from what you think is not the right position? Sorry, I missed your question. Can you ask again? Yes, I was asking about the statement that you issued um, today, essentially backing what the uh, Auditor General is saying with regards to the ongoing investigations by Yoko. Uh, could you further expatiate on that? Well, yeah, um, we've been following this particular issue since last year. At the beginning of the year, we had the Public Procurement Authority do uh, its own investigation, uh, concluding that the Entity Tender Committee was not well established. But to all extents and purposes, no malfeasance was found, and it was not a situation that the state lost any resources. So we find it very curious that uh, in the last three, four weeks, um, we have people from Yoko pulling staff off for the Auditor General um, ever so often without any clear understanding of what exactly it is they are investigating. We think it's an attempt to intimidate and to undermine its effectiveness, and that's why we are raising these issues. Well, is there anything wrong with Iyoko uh, believing that he has a mandate to investigate matters of procurement? At least for now, the man has gone to court to seek an interpretation of the, of the law. Why are you not allowing this to, to go through the due process? Well, first of all, I mean, we are clear in our minds because we are part of the process of making the necessary changes when the Special Prosecutor's Office was being established. We had to, as it were modify some laws in order to make sure that there was not an overlap of function and duplicity in the efforts of different uh, anti-graft and uh, good governance institutions. And one of those key changes was to take away this uh, procurement investigative aspect from Yoko. Um, having said that, I mean, we think that even if Yoko was so minded, it could be done in such a way that the tension between the two institutions is not just heightened, and rather there is a good relationship because it's a matter of investigation. If the facts are found and he's found culpable, or anybody other people are so found culpable, they will have to face the law. So you have just suggested, Mr. Senano, you have just suggested that this could uh, possibly be an attempt by Yoko to, uh, if you like, intimidate uh, the Auditor General. Why would anyone want to intimidate the Auditor General? Well, I, I think part of that is established in our uh, press statement where we say that looking at the context of these uh, Auditor General's efforts to stamp out every form of corruption within the space where he occupies, the kind of actions he's taking to surcharge specific institutions and heads of institutions where they've gone wrong, where he has uh, pointed out actions that do not align with what is required as far as financial management is concerned, um, it seems to us that there is an undue effort to try and make it difficult for him to do his work. And that is a major concern for us as well. Adam Sananu, thank you very much. Adam Sananu is with the Citizens Movement Against Corruption, uh, sharing his own opinions, essentially representing the views of the civil society organizations there on the recent uh, back and forth between the Yoko and the Auditor General's office.